Business Brain, the Entrepreneur's Podcast, Episode 419 for Friday, January 27th, 2023. Greetings, folks, and welcome to Business Brain. Welcome back to Business Brain. If this is not your first visit, Business Brain here, we are the show where we take our business brains and uh, filter all of life through them to make things more efficient, more productive, more profitable and happier. Uh, and, and we can help make you happier. If you send in your stuff to feedback at businessbrain.show, and by stuff, I mean comments about the show, comments about your business, questions about the show, questions about your business, really anything. If it's something that is worthy of being, uh, included in an upcoming episode, then you are entered into our drawing this year to win a MacBook Air. So feedback at businessbrain.show. Here in Durham, New Hampshire, I'm Dave Hamilton. And I'm coming from Lafayette, California. I'm Shannon Jean. Yeah, How's man. It, going? Uh, it comes and it goes. You know? Yeah, it's, it does. It's chronic, it does. I guess. I don't know. That's it's, a good uh, thing. As long as it keeps coming. That's an easy come, easy go. That's what I say about yeah. money. You know, I'm, yep, I'm okay yep. with the easy go if the easy come continues. So that's... I love it. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, I'm really, I'm also loving these uh, shorter episodes, these 15, 20 minute little bite sized episodes, and uh, we've been getting some good feedback on them, posting them uh, a couple times a week, like on a Wednesday, which is our normal publication, but also adding a Friday bonus um, to fit them into your podcast app. And we'd certainly like some feedback from you on, uh, you know, how, what you think, and if you find them uh, useful in yeah. a smaller format. Yeah, I, I, like I, I think as a listener, I would like this. So yeah, me too. I'm, I'm hoping that I'm not the only one. So, and yeah, I know I'm pissed, not. Yeah, yeah, I know I'm not. Yeah, We've heard from right. a few so, of you already. So yeah. So great. today I, I want to, what I, I want to talk about an article that uh, I found up at Inc.com that really caught my eye. And um, it's in the title of it is seven brutal lies that kill that kill your success and how to stop believing them. Okay. Uh, I would, I would say they could kill your success, but after you listen to us, certainly you do not believe these things are true. <laughs> okay. And we're going to, and we're going to tear them apart right now. Anyway, the first gotcha. one is I like, is everyone will laugh at me, you know, which is fear of embarrassment. Right. Uh, and fear uh, of failure, fear of fear public, of failure, public right? failure yes. at the very least. Yeah. 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 And, and I think that, you know, th they have some interesting ways that, uh, to, to deal with it. But you know, the one thing I, I would tell is if, if you're worried about, you know, people laughing at you being embarrassed, you have to realize that most people are so focused on their own life that yeah. they're not too worried about what you do. And, uh, you know, we all are in this bubble of, of self-importance and, uh, you know, things. So no, Shannon, um, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one in that bubble. <laughs> That's right. Nobody cares. <laughs> Just face it. No, nobody cares. Uh, what you, there's a, I shared this with you earlier this week in Slack, this quote, nobody cares what you do. Everybody cares what you do for them. Yeah. So, you know, it, nobody cares if you fail. So just do it, you know, and, and, and give it a shot. Um, I, we I have a, we have a bitter pill song. Uh, it's one of my favorite songs off the new record that we put out this year, last year called living ain't cheap, dying ain't free. Uh, and the, the, the name of the song is nobody cares that the full title of the song is nobody kills cares till you're dead. But yes, there you go. It's it's you know like it's not yeah. false. So there's a no, reason. It's not false. It's a good yeah. song. Yeah. 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 And and number two is it I, I, it won't be good enough or I won't be good enough. Right. Right. And it's again thinking of other people's standards. I think. And you know we've often one one of my favorite things to tell people is hey uh, let's figure out how you can make a hundred bucks you know, 50 bucks, show me how you can make money with this idea, this product, your service, whatever. Cause if you can make a little bit of money, then we can figure out how to scale it, make it more efficient, make it better. Yeah. Um, so not good enough. It's just should not be in your sphere, your, your frame at all, because it could be successful at all different levels. It could be that you tried to start a business and it turned out that, you, you know, the part you thought was going to be the best part is just one little part, but something else came along and you got a new idea and it took off. And so, cause that stuff happens all the time. Things never work out the way you, you know, 
plan for them 100 percent. so keep it keep an open frame for what I, the definition of success is for yeah you. this is I, I would say that that number two here this it won't be good enough that's not a lie that is a universal truth. There is nothing more correct than saying it won't yeah. be good enough. Of course it won't be good enough, but it's yeah. probably still going to be okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, absolutely. Yeah. Yep. 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 No, that's good. Uh, number three is, you know, it's too late. You know, I've missed the bus on this thing or I'm too old, uh, you know, and that that's just nuts. You know, you're listening. I, I've been doing this for a long, long time since I was, you know, a young kid and I do have a note on my desk. It's actually printed on my monitor. It says you don't have much time, but that encourages me to get more stuff done. Uh, but, you know, the, just think of the wisdom packed into people that are older and have been through all kinds of different things. And, you know, we try to share our knowledge from one business to another and well beyond that in our personal lives every week on the show. Um you just got to get it going. It's also the measure of success. I mean, if you, maybe you just want to start something small and get it going and make a side hustle, yeah. make a little bit of money or learn something new that that becomes the success. And, uh, it, it's, it's never too late and no. you, you just got to get, get moving on it and, uh, action you know it's start, not start it may, and something. maybe a good way to sort of combine the note you have on your desk with this is it's not too late yet oh i like that yeah yeah right <laughs> yeah that's it that's it yeah do it uh, now because uh, otherwise yeah, do it now. You, you will it, it with any of these you will prove yourself right if you want to so yes you know that's true that's yep. true uh, number four except, is except is, maybe the next one. You might not be able to prove yourself right about this. <laughs> yeah. We've talked about this and we did yeah. a whole episode about why it was important to empty the trash at your, at your own business. Uh, and number four is that I'm too good for this. And uh, you know, I, I've, 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 I think every one of these I've thought about, and even now, you know, like I still have this handbag business and it's done great. You know, it's, it's done fantastic. And over time, but I still catch myself once in a while thinking, what am I doing this for? You know, but it's just a great side gig that takes an hour or so a day and generates great revenue. Um, and, you know, you just have to get beyond it. You have to think about it as, as the, the daily grind, the work that has to be done. And yes, there are, maybe you can help me put some better words, Dave. We've talked about, are you doing $20 an hour work or, you know, $1,000 an hour work? Um, certainly you want to push yourself towards higher, d those yeah. higher dollars, but, um, doing the grunt work has its real benefits as well. It does. And I, I would yeah. say, you know, I, I've, I've, I came to this realization, what, two years ago, I, this phrase popped into my head that being an entrepreneur is a blue collar job. You it have is. to yeah. be, you have to be willing and, and excited often yeah. to do grunt work because oftentimes it's only you, man. And if you're the oh, yeah. one, then if it needs to get done, you just do it and think about how great it is. Like you're running your own business. You have trash cans to empty. You yeah. have data to enter, like yeah, go do right. that and then build your business up to where, yeah, someday you can hire somebody to do the data entry. Someday you can hire somebody to take out the trash if you want, you know, but I, like be excited that you have these things to do. And I, I need to remind myself of this regularly because I wind up doing things that run the whole spectrum. And if I've sure. hired someone to do the $20 an hour work, then, then great. I, then, you know, I, I do whatever I can to make their job easy and possible and all of those things. But if I have not yet hired someone to do a specific piece of $20 an hour work, then I do it. And I have to remind myself sometimes that I'm glad that we have this work to, that needs to be done here. And yeah, yeah. I've chosen not to hire someone, so I'm the one doing it, but I'm glad yeah. that we have the work to do. So, uh, that's you know, right. I agree. That, that's that's, and that's it, how it, I wrap my brain around it anytime I yeah. need to. Yeah, yeah. And especially if you have people around you that are watching what you do, you know, we, I've talked about cooking, you know, barbecue and lunch for their employees each yeah. week that we did forever. And, you know, it's a great way to, uh, 
connect with people when they see you doing these things that even in their frame of things are like, oh, that's the owner, the boss that's yeah. out there cleaning this up or picking this thing up. So I, I, I think it's good. Um, number five is, you know, they, they say I can't, the author says, I can't afford it. I don't have the money, this kind of thing. Well, if you can get a credit card, you can start a business. And are you going to build a multi-million dollar business with that first investment? Probably not, but you start, you can get things going. Um, this is another of what I call the onces, where you put an excuse in front and say, well, once I get this, I can do that. I can do X. Oh. Once I get enough money, once I get this new computer, once I get a better space that I can do it, I can start a business. Once I get this knowledge, once I do you got to avoid the onces Ooh, and beware the start. onces. I like this. Beware man. the onces. Yeah. 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 You just have to start because you're going to fumble around. And, you know, when we started recording this show, it, I think almost eight years ago now, Dave wouldn't even let me talk on the air. I was so bad. And maybe I still am. But, you know, he was like, oh, they, well, we just have to start. Shannon, recording. they can't, they can't hear you. I go back at night. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. It's this whole time. <laughs> it's just Dave. Uh, yeah. So, Imagine so how smart have, they think I am. No. <laughs> yes. That's exactly right. And so you just have to start and you have to fumble around and make some mistakes and you'll learn. And if nothing else, you're going to learn a lot. You learn some great lessons. So uh, uh, avoid the onces, that's for sure. I like it. Uh, number six, somebody else probably already thought of it. Well, correct. That's ridiculous. Y yes. Correct. <laughs> that's right. They did. Yes. We're not the first podcast. I, I wasn't nope. the first website. You weren't the first uh, Poshmark store. You weren't the first. Like, yep. of course not. I Like, yes. you don't need... I'll say it again because I love to say it. If you want your idea to be worth $100, write it on a $100 bill. If you want your idea to be worth a million dollars, go do the work. That's all. Yeah. That's it. That's, That's the right. fairy dust. There's your secret. Yeah. Yep. Yep. And number seven is the, the saddest one to me because I've met so many people that have done this uh, where they say, oh, I've already tried that. I failed. So I'm done, right? I, I've, I tried to start a business. I died. I'm finished. And that is the worst frame about it is you got to think about, okay, instead of I failed, well, what can I do to improve the way I did it before, right? Or yeah, what did you how learn? Do I, yeah. Yeah. What's the postmortem on it? What went wrong? How do you adjust? Hopefully you try to catch that adjustment before everything goes to hell. Um, and now you yeah, but if you didn't, be able to you can still else. learn. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I tried to start a software company and then, and I ended up writing a book about uh, how to do something <laughs> completely different than I ever did because it, it starting the software, it never worked. My partner went sideways on me and I had all this massive content. And I'm like, okay, well, maybe I should just publish a book. And when I put it all together, I had like 300 plus pages and it was a great experience. And I became an author and I real I learned this whole self-publishing thing. And so the takeaway you know, you can spin it as part of your story, which I talk about on the show all the time. Um, you you got to learn from it and adjust and don't, th that mindset that I've tried it failed, so I'm done. You just have to let that go and change your frame of how things are. So I agree. I agree. Yeah. 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 So, so, you know, av uh, avoid the onces, go read this article. We'll put a link in here uh, in the show notes. Let us know what you think. Feedback, feedback at businessbrain.show. We want to talk you about sure it's your feedback at businessbrain.show. I think right? so. Yeah. Okay. God, right. it freaked me out when you said that. You <laughs> just stop, record, stop recording me now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but send in your emails there. If we feature your email in an episode, you will be entered to win a MacBook Air. And listen, if you get featured in an episode in early February, and then in mid-February, you get featured again. Guess what happens? You now have two entries in the thing to win a MacBook Air. So it's not one and done. It's every email we feature, regardless of whether it's from That's the same exciting. person or whatever. Wow. Like you could, yeah. you could hedge your bets and all but guarantee yourself a MacBook Air by December 
It's that simple, and, folks. That's and I will tell you this. Frame. Yeah, this this. I'm not a huge contest guy, but this contest, the odds are going to be, uh, like Katniss would say, uh, forever, <laughs> ever in your favor. <laughs> forever in so your favor. Yes. I'm thinking about sending in some emails to us, Shannon. I could yeah. use another air. You should try it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, give me some ideas. All right, folks. Oh, right right Thanks on. for hanging out with us. Thanks for sending in your stuff to feedback at businessbrain.show. And, uh, hey, do me a big favor over the weekend here. Keep living that charmed life, would you? We'll see you next week.